Hello everyone, welcome back to my LP of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. On the checklist I have here, all I have left are 10 trainer battles. All 8 of the gym leaders want their rematches, and then there's also red and green. In this episode, I'll be starting the rematches against the gym leaders, starting with Brock. You sure look different from when we first met. I have a request for you, since you're now the Pokemon League champion. The truth is, Gym leaders have the right to challenge the champion. Please, allow me the privilege of facing you in battle once again. Allow me to show you the true rock hard strength of my Pokemon. I wonder how powerful the gym leaders Pokemon are going to be this time around. So Brock has five Pokemon, starting with an Onix. I'm going to say they're going to be in the 50s. Okay, it's just a guess though. I'm going to find out right now. Hey, I was right. Oh, oh, hang on. Your Majesty, I need a hand! Let's power up my Marsha. Oh yeah, I just noticed too, I forgot to reteach Marsha its Ice Punch. I think I have Marsha for the whole fight here, so looks like Stealth Rock, uh, Stealth Rock is not going to do much here. Waterfall. Here we go. Up we go! The waterfall reminds me of the one from Pokemon Snap, the one where Gyarados appears out of. Golem. Is it going to be a Lolan Golem? Nope, just a normal Golem. If it would have been a Lolan Golem, I have Earthquake for that. Alright, another waterfall. There. This is going to be pretty easy. Not to strum my own banjo and to blow my own Kazooie. Aerodactyl. Well, this Aerodactyl might go for us. I doubt it. Hehehe. <laughs> Kapow! Yep, this is so easy. This is easier than the Elite Four. I should have done this after I beat it, became the champion. Ooh, Kabutops. Or Kabutops. Now, this one. I'm gonna have to use Brick Break. Waterfall is just gonna do regular damage, because it's rock and water type. That's the trick. That means it also has... Brock must also have an Oma Star on his team. And what do you know? I was right. If you have a Kabutops on your team, you can't leave Oma Star alone. Or by itself, or whichever way you want to put it. What a clean sweep! Great job, Marsha! And it just flops over. I knew you were strong, but this? I've chosen to pro postpone my dream of becoming a Pokemon breeder just for a little bit longer. Right now, I'm more interested in training to go strong enough to one day face and defeat you. Please, battle me every day so I can grow even stronger. That's right, you can get a rematch against the gym leaders each day, but I think their Pokemon is going to be the same level, so I'm only going to fight these gym leaders or give them their rematches just once a pace. So, that lasted me almost 4 minutes, so I might have enough time to do all 8 if I need to. So moving on to the next gym leader, Misty. Rematch number 2, Misty of the Cerulean City Gym. I heard an interesting rumor. Not only did you and that other kid defeat those Team Rocket guys, but you also met again in the battle for champion. Arg! I just can't take it anymore! You've gotten so strong that I just absolutely have to battle you again! You got that? No refusing! Alright, five Pokemon again, probably in there. 50, starting with Golduck. And my choice of Pokemon... is your Majesty! Let's go, Ohm! Mouse versus Duck. <laughs> okay. Thunderbolt. I think these gym leader rematches are going to be pieces of cupcake. So far, they've taken all one hits. Here comes Gyarados. This is going to be even easier. Misty is... Well, her Pokemon, that is, are one level higher than Brock's. 
Unless Gyarados is one level higher than the rest of Misty's team. Alright, who's next? Starry me. Hey Misty, can I have that pearl when you're done? Is it a plush pearl or is it a giant luxurious pearl that I can sell at the Pokemart? I bet they give me like a quarter of a million Poke Dolls for it. So it looks like all of our Pokemon, or all the gym leaders, oh I crit its pants, but anyways. That all the gym leaders Pokemon are going to be at level 56 except for one of their Pokemon being at level 57. So it looks like this is going to be, like I said, it's going to be really easy getting through all this. I just wonder if I can get through all eight within one episode. I'm going to find out. Our last water Pokemon, I'm going to say it's going to be a Cloyster. Oh, I was wrong. Poop. Well, let's finish it off. Another clean sweep. So that's what? Ten Pokemon in a row so far in these Gym Leader rematches I've knocked out in one hit. Let's keep the streak going. So a quarter of the way done. Oof. How annoying. I lost. I need to try swimming around for a bit so I can clear my head of these feelings. I definitely won't lose next time. Alright, next up is going to be Lieutenant Surge in Vermilion City. Gym Leader Rematch number 3. Ten Hut, here we go. Hey there kid, pretty shocking you made it through the Pokemon League. No doubt some electric type Pokemon had a pretty big hand in that, right? Alright then, how about you show me what kind of Pokemon you've raised? Okay, so for this fight, I'm going to use Marsha. And you're thinking, what are you doing, Marcus? It's a water type. Well, I'm trying to give myself a little challenge here. Because Marsha does have Earthquake. Now, will it be faster than this Electrode? I'm going to find out right now. Nope. Shoot. Tank this, Marsha. Okay, good. Alright, still a streak going. I could have used Terra, because it's faster, and it does have Earthquake as well. No big deal, though. Alright, once again. Hiya! That's 12 in a row. I like how Marsha just. Oh, it crit its pants! But, anyways. I like how Marsha just slightly turns to the right to hear me say, Hey, that's it. I knew you could do it. You can just notice it just a little bit. With all Lieutenant Surge's Pokemon fainting one by one, he just stands there looking content. Like he doesn't really care at all. He must be a self-indulgent, uh, gym leader. Okay, two more to go. So yeah, they're all in the fifth, like, all at level 56, with one Pokemon being at level 57. I think it's going to be Raichu that's going to be at level 57, or maybe? Maybe it was one of the other Pokemon. It wasn't Magneton. I don't think it was Jolteon, so maybe it is Raichu. Or Lieutenant Surge might not have right Raichu on its team. Okay, he does. Will it be at level 57? Yep, okay. So I know the trend. Wow, yeah. The streak continues. Now, if only if I used Terra, then I probably wouldn't got hit, because that's my first hit that I've taken through these rematches. Absolutely shocking. Well, it's a good thing I'm getting money from them from all these fights. Looks like there's still a gap between our skill levels. I need to close, kid. This is the first time i felt like this since I first arrived here in Kanto. Come back tomorrow. Okay, next. Oh, yes. The next fight is against my favorite, Erica. It's a damn shame that I have to go through this maze of a gym. But I'm here anyways, it did take like a minute or two. And because I've used Marsha in two of these rematches, I'm going to put it on the bench for the remainder and give my other members of my Pokemon team a shot at these gym leaders. 
Hello, Erica. Can I have your number after I meet you? Oh, if it isn't the one who's been trying to fill the Pokedex. I do hope things have been going well for you since our last encounter. I see. You certainly have been busy. I'm not particularly fond of those kinds of pu uh, public things. However, battles are different. That's what you came for, isn't it? I almost said pubic. <laughs> oh, I almost slipped. Oh, good thing I caught myself. Okay, so for this fight... Oh, McDonald's Spaghetti Monster. I got Embark. I'm gonna burn it down. Flamethrower. Oh, that's a nice shot of Erica right there. Watch out, Erica. I don't want to burn your kimono. Goodbye, McDonald's Spaghetti Monster. Exeggutor. I could burn some trees. Cause a forest fire. Only you can prevent- Shut up, Smokey! This ain't the real- This ain't the real world, it's Pokemon. There. So far, the streak continues. 17 in a row. Oh, this one's gonna be easy. Quad weakness to fire-type moves. You're not the real Anoki. I have the real Anoki. You're a fake. You're a dumb phony. I just proved it. 18 in a row. Vile Plume. I assume her other Pokemon's gonna be a victory bell. Jeez, Vile Plume Sprite, or 3D Sprite looks massive. But it doesn't matter. You're done. Yeah, like I said, this is. This is pathetically easy, for lack of better words. I think I should have done this first after I became the champion. Give myself a challenge. Halfway! So, Erica. About that phone number? Huh? Huh? Oh! It appears it is my loss. Oh, I love her grin. Simply marvelous. That was an effort worthy at least 10 rainbow badges. Or 10 kisses to your lips. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you another time. But we're halfway through the rematches, so next up is going to be... Koga. Okay, Koga. Show me what... Wait. No, I'm not going to say that. You're just going to be like the other four gym leaders I've already beaten. You're gonna be taken down clean sweep. <laughs> if it isn't the child, it seems you have fated to meet once again. You have come at a truly opportune time. I was just thinking that I wanted to test my newly refined sinister techniques in a battle that will end you that will end in your utter defeat. That whole saying that you just said, that should have been my whole line to you. Tentacruel. That's an interesting start. For this fight, I'm going to use Terror. Good thing Tentacruel has higher special defense than its defense, because Earthquake should be not a problem. Let's keep the streak alive. There we go. Oh, I cut its pants! Unnecessary, though. It doesn't really matter. Make sure to change your diapers, Tentacruel. Okay, this is going to be tough right here. <sighs> Let's do it, uh, Terra. Can you do it in one hit? Come on, baby. Keep the streak alive. Good job. Alright, that's what? 22 in a row. Yeah. Here comes the nasty pile of poop that belongs in the sewer. There. Let's flush this thing down the toilet. 23 in a row. Alright, who's next? Venomoth? Yep, I just called it. 
Okay, this time, don't use Earthquake. Bug and Poison, it'll do normal damage, so I'm gonna go with the Rock Slide. And then the last one's probably gonna be a Golbat. Well, in this case, Fake Grape Juice. Oh, got some level ups going on here. I was right. Here we go. Let's feed it some rocks. Chew on this fake grape juice. There, have some broken teeth. Okay, so the streak of one hit kills continues. Or one hit faints. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't really matter which one I use between faints and kills. If I am not strong enough to defeat you now, there is but one thing to do. I must hone my skills. With trainers like you and Sikram, the Pokemon League must be a place of formidable strength. Truly, it is something to be proud of. As it so happens, I have been thinking of aiming to join the Elite Four myself. That's some good lore or some origin there, because he does get take part in the Elite Four in Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. I don't remember if he's in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I know he's in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and his daughter Janine takes his spot in the Fuchsia City Gym. But that's enough about that. Three gym leaders remain. The next one will be Sabrina. Alrighty, the sixth gym leader rematch. It's true that psychic power is a potent ability. However, there are things that cannot be overcome with that power alone. I finally understand that now. After losing to you in our last battle, I won't be relying on such just psychic power this time. My true strength, my true self, Allow me to test them against you. I can't remember how I did Sabrina's voice during our first fight. But for this rematch, I'm going to be using Enoki. I like how she has the Pokeball float above her hand. I don't think I'll be using Growth in this one. I'm pretty confident not to strum my own Banjo and to blow my own Kazooie that Enoki will do just fine using Leech Life on all of her Pokemon. Let's keep the streak going. There we go. Oh, I almost forgot. I think Mr. Mime might be a fairy type. But it could be fairy and psychic. It did normal damage. Regardless, I knocked it out anyways. Alright, here we go again. Let's bite this thing's nose. There. Take that pendulum and shove it up your... your nose. Okay, sorry, I almost crossed the line there. Ooh, Jinx. What am I talking about? Ew, Jinx! I think I said the, the first part because it's ice type. At least it's part ice type. Just the interesting choice that Sabrina would use for a psychic type Pokemon. That is, of course, you would know, Jinx is Ice and Psychic type. And with Slowbro being both Water and Psychic. Right, once again. Yep, my streak of one-hit kills continues. That's, what, 29 in a row? I think Blue's team is going to be vastly different. Uh, if this Alex Sam uses Protect, that's not going to be good. Oh, it went first! I didn't do much anyways. There! 30 in a row! I got my HP back, too. Not like that matters or anything. Okay, Blaine and Blue are left. I won't encounter a trainer like you for around another three years. Oops, I forgot to use our voice. <laughs> there was once a time when I was shocked that I lost to you. That feeling is gone now. It's been replaced with a desire to grow strong and live freely as you do. Okay. Let's head back to Cinnabar Island for a rematch against Blaine. I just hope he doesn't give us a quiz this time around. Blaine, the quiz master. Just don't give out any more quizzes. I just want to get to the battle right away. 
Ha! Huh. Well done. Return here to my gym. You're the one who retrieved the key to this gym from the Pokemon Mansion. Did you see anything interesting while you were in there? That place still holds the remnants of my old friend's research. By the way, I've been hearing an interesting, interesting rumor floating around recently. You wouldn't happen to know a young lady named Green, would you? Yep, I've heard of her. She should be in the Cerulean Cave right now. Oof, well, it's not as thought, though I really know the whole story anyway. More importantly, since you came all this way, we should have a battle. Ha! And you didn't say that I should bring some burn heals. I think that's a first right there. The fire in his eyes. I think he did that in the first fight as well. Alright, I'm gonna use Ohm, your majesty. Okay, my liege. We know just what to do with these fire type Pokemon. It's splishy splash time. What's up with the floor? Does Blaine like tic-tac-toe or something? Yeah, I got rid of his butt head. Go join B. Oh, I cut his pants. That's actually much, very hilarious, even though I didn't really laugh that much at all. It's just, it's just that Butthead got his pants crit. Or I crit Butthead's pants, whatever that, however you put it. If you put two and two together for that, then you get what I'm saying. Okay, Ninetales. I always thought Ninetales was spelt as T-A-I-L-S. But it's tales as in fairy tales. I can remember that. So I don't screw up if I already spill its name. But the streak keeps going. All my moves have been a one-hit kill so far. Right, Rapidash. Rapidash, to be honest with you, you shouldn't really be a Pokemon. You should compete in the Kentucky Derby. You'd be a favorite. You'd be a one-to-nine shot. See? I just proved it right there. I just knocked it in one hit. Now go back to racing! Flareon. Well, I did run to Vaporeon and Jolteon in the rematches, so it makes sense to come across Flareon as well. Surf's up! Alright, one more. So I'm on a 34 one-hit kill streak right now. Arcanine's the last one. Alright, your royal highness. Let's do another clean sweep. Go for it. Nice. So again, Blue must have a different team. He might not have five Pokemon, he could have six. And the level must be higher than the 50s. Ha! Huh, I'm all fired up. You don't look fired up. You look disappointed. Recently, gym challengers sure have been increasing. That just means more fun for me, so I don't mind at all. It's true that you already have a Volcano Madge, but don't worry about that. Let's battle! Again? No! Maybe he was speaking that he wants to battle me tomorrow when the day resets and whatnot. Okay. That just leaves one last uh, gym leader to go, and I have just enough time to, to defeat him as well to complete the episode. Blue, I'm coming for ya. Okay, this is it. The final gym leader rematch. Like I said, he must have six Pokemon on his team. Somewhere, I'm gonna take a guess and say they're gonna be in the 60s. And he's gonna have a variety of different Pokemon types as well. I'm gonna start this fight off with... Your Majesty, Ohm. So let's do it. Yo, Marcus. Since I've become the gym leader here, the Viridian City Gym has really stepped it up. It's made each day pretty pretty busy, though. By the way, what do you think of this gym's design? It makes me look like some kind of bad guy, right? Well, to be fair, it was previously owned by Giovanni, and he really loved the color black, apparently. I've been thinking of remodeling the place. Well, it doesn't matter all that much, I guess. No matter the place, I'm still the best there is. Alright, it's been a while since I've gone all out, so I'll show you the strength of a top trainer. Ah, let's keep that streak alive. Here we go. And he's got six Pokemon like I thought. Starting off with a Tauros. Ooh. Okay. And it's going to be at level what? Just like I thought. It's going to be in the 60s. Okay, so I got a streak of 35 one-hit kills in a row. Can we go 36? 
Brick Break. Nope, that's it. The streak's done. The streak's broken! No! Alright, um, let's keep, let's finish this off here. I had just enough time to complete the episode, too. Let's go with Floaty Fall. Whee! There. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna use one of each of my own Pokemon in this fight. So, Ohm, you're done. So, for Gyarados, I'm gonna use Terror. Alright, come back, uh, your Royal Highness. Good job. Alright, I have just the move of this Gyarados. Just gonna watch out for its water type moves in case that I miss. Alright, nice. Oh, Kurt's pants! How's that feel? Now you stink! Next up is... Uh, Aerodactyl versus Aerodactyl. No, I'm gonna give someone else a chance. Marsha, you're next. I'm gonna go for type weakness here. Let's be Aerodactyl be, be faster though. It did. I don't think Earthquake's gonna do very much though. <laughs> Nothing. Did maybe a tenth of my HP. Kapoof! There. Halfway. We're almost in the 90s. Executor. I will go with, let's see, I have Enoki, Grape Juice, and Embark. Let's go with Enoki. Is it going to be a regular Executor? If so, then Leech Life will knock out in one hit. Nice. I'm not going to hesitate, just go right for it. Now here's the thing. Exeggutor, Gyarados, and Aerodactyl also come to a one-hit, uh, a one-hit kill. So, Your Majesty, you failed to knock out that Tauros in one hit. Let's see, Alakazam, I will go with... Let's see, I got Grape Juice and, and Bark left. Let's go with Grape Juice. I think Blue's last Pokemon is going to be a... Pidgeot? I'm just guessing that, though. Or it might be, uh... No! I know it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be Charizard. That's right, he had Charizard on his team when I fought him at Saffron, uh, the Sylph Company. Oops! Uh-oh. I forgot to switch Golbat's moves out. Well, <laughs> Golbat in Rome! Here we go! <laughs> This Alakazam oh, has used Reflect. That's poop! That's not good. Please don't use, uh, Protect. Okay. Oh, you- Green Juice! What are you doing? That's not good. Ah. This sucks. Ah, shoot. I gotta switch out. Let's see. Embark, you need to step in. Shoot, I made a big mistake for getting to teach, reteach Grape Juice's original moves. Okay, I'm gonna have to use Crunch. Stop lowering my special defense! Alright, crunch it up, even though it's reflected it's still up. Oh, I almost knocked it out! Ah. <sighs> so, Tauros and Alakazam survived their one hit, their one hit kills. Blue's gonna use a full restore. Nope, he didn't. I bet Alakazam only had one HP left. Alright, last one's probably gonna be Charizard. Alright, there goes the Reflect. Like I thought. Let's see. I'm gonna stick in with Embark, because I've already used Grape Juice and he's wounded and she's wounded. Almost caught myself there. Outrage! 
Oh, perfect! Yes! Oh no, never mind. Poop! I thought it was gonna be the other Charizard that's dragon type. Ah, oh, so close! Three Pokemon survived one hit kill, so I got 30 out of 41. That's pretty good. What? You quit my pants, and I survived it. You're a loser. Nice job, Embark. Way to tank it. Good. There, the rematch is all done. Hick, too late for that. Aw, oh, man. What was I doing? As long as I can battle strong opponents, I don't care what happens. You get what I mean, right? You better come back again. Ah, that's out of the way, so... There's only two, uh, two trainers left. Oh, I gotta go this way to get out. Okay, so like I was saying, red and green are all that's left for trainers to fight in this game for my Let's Play. Which means, guess what, guys? The next episode is the final one. It's about time that I got to get to the end of this Let's Play. Whew! Took long enough. Well, let me go heal just to get it off my chest. Okay, so like I said, like a broken record, Pokemon Trainers Red and Green are all that's left. So, next time in my Let's Play of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, it will be the last episode, where I will challenge and defeat the final two trainers. I will start with Green first in the Cerulean Cave, and then, then end it off by defeating Pokemon Trainer Red. Once those two are out of the way, I will give my personal review on this game to finish off the Let's Play once and for all. Okay, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the final episode, and like always, take care.